Hey there, I'm Chef Ani, and today we are making a tremendous recipe. We are making chickpea coconut curry. I love this recipe. What is there not to love about this recipe? It is delicious, it's warm and comforting, it's fresh, it's nutritious, it's packed full of beautiful ingredients and loaded with flavor that just keeps you wanting to come back time and time again because it's just such a family favorite. So I hope you enjoy this recipe as much as I do. So let's get right into the video. So enough talking, let's get cooking. So the first thing we're going to do is to saute our onion. I have a little olive oil in a pan. And if you don't want to use oil, you can use water. Next, we're going to add in some garlic. So we cooked some cauliflower here and we are just going to mash it. And this is going to add a lot of texture and a beautiful component to this dish. Now that we have mashed our cauliflower, we're going to add a cup into a blender and we're going to save the rest of the cauliflower for later. Next, we're going to add in some coconut milk. I like the Thai Kitchen brand just because it's super creamy. This is where we're going to pack in the flavor, starting with some nutritional yeast flakes, some cumin, coriander, and turmeric. This is gonna add loads of flavor to this dish. The turmeric is what adds the beautiful color. And we're going to throw in some Italian seasoning and crushed red pepper. And one of the things I like to add to this recipe is just a touch of sweetness, just because it adds a whole nother dimension to the flavor. It's not sweet, it just kind of enhances the flavor. So I'm going to add in a little bit of natural cane sugar and some salt. But this is of course optional. Not the salt though, you probably do need a little salt. <laughs> Then we're going to pop on the lid and blend till smooth. So now that we have this beautiful, flavorful mixture here, we're going to add it into our sauteed onion and garlic. We're also going to add in some petite diced tomatoes and we're going to add in some cooked chickpeas. Ah, oh, yes. Ooh, you getting excited over there? Oh, super excited. I'm we're so excited. For lunch today, aren't Ooh, we? I am so looking forward to this. Now that this has been cooking for a little bit, we're going to add in a couple more ingredients. A little bit more of our cauliflower, just to add some texture, along with some fresh spinach and some green onion. And I like to add in some fresh parsley and cilantro, but you can really be creative here and add in what you like. So my favorite way to serve this dish is over rice. So I just take a little bit of this over some rice. Oh, here you go. So good. As you can see, this is one of my favorite dishes. It is warm, delicious, so flavorful. I keep going back and back to this recipe and I hope you enjoy it as much as my family and I do. Truly one of my favorites. So if you would like to get the full recipe, you can find it on my website, chefandi.com. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every Wednesday and I look forward to seeing you next Wednesday with another video. Thank you.